Hey everybody, welcome back. So I want to put together a video regarding our workspace filtering section. Okay, it's a little more advanced, but it actually is really nice to allow you to quickly clean up each category that you need on the fly. Okay, that might make that might be a little confusing. I'm sorry. So let me show you real quick. So we have a toggle filter. Okay, what the toggle filter does is it turns on and off our filtering. Okay, the hotkey. And then we have another one called Workspace Pie Menu. So this is kind of neat actually. So you have your workspace filtering here, you have your categories. Okay, these categories are going to be what show up on the right side in your end panel. Okay. You also have the option to exclude any add-ons. It's a little more confusing, but what this means is I always use the add-on called photographer. Okay. I don't want it to really be categorized. So if I put it in there, which you'll see, you can search uh, and you can go through different things here. Um, we're still cleaning up some of the out of the box stuff with help from people. Um, but what this does, it allows you to search, find a, your item and add it to the exclusion. Okay, so let's say I want bag of pie never to be categorized. It'll always show up over here. So let me hop out of here and I have my hotkey and keep an eye over here. When I hit the hotkey, you're gonna notice a lot of items disappeared and only certain items showed up okay so let me go back into preferences and I want to show you real quick something okay so in my workspace add-on if I were to add a new category let's just call it test <clears throat> what you're gonna see is you see test but you also see this cool little option here called icon okay so what you do is you can basically come through all these little icons, find something that references a look or something that you want for that category. So I can put something in here, land distribute, and hop out here. And what you'll see, so this is kind of cool. So these icons right here, this big blue button right here are all related to filtering. Okay. So let me uncheck all the icons and it works like Blender. So as you saw, a whole bunch were checked. And if I click one, it'll check just the one. And as you'll see, just the items there. Now I need to verify. It should be showing you what the name of the icon is as you hover. But if I click that, you'll see, boom, boom, boom. And then there's the new one. And you'll notice the ones I excluded have stayed there every time. So here's a neat thing too. If you hold down shift, you can get a whole bunch at once. There are two ways to disable your filtering. Either the big button here, you'll see it'll be go back to there, or the hot key that you have mapped, okay? Now here's where the little bit of uh, advance comes into play, okay? So you're going through, you need just these certain items to clean it up. You're able to do your work. But what you will notice, though, for now, is you might have shortcuts for other items. Okay, let's say uh, Forestation, any of these g scatter. Let's say you have shortcuts for them. They might not always work when the add-on is being filtered. Okay, so that's a, that's a disclaimer right there until we can either fix that up. Um, but, and then if I disable it, all your typical shortcuts and everything will work. What I really like about the filtering though is I can hop in here. If I know I'm doing landscapes or whatnot, I can hop in, boom, get what I need, and right there. So here's another neat option part of this, okay? Amon put in a hotkey, okay? So it's kind of cool. So I'm working along, and let's say I have filtering off, okay? I can hit my hotkey. And right there will give me my categories for my filtering, which is really cool. 
Okay, so the hotkey turns it on and I might have modeling different things on the fly. You can literally just go in and filter, which is really cool. Okay, now it obviously it's just going to get you the one. Now you could actually, I just did his shift and you can actually just enable other ones, which is kind of cool. So this is a little more advanced. Like I said, the reason I, only reason I say it's a little more advanced is because the choosing of the names is a little more difficult. And then some of your other shortcuts will be turned off. But if that's the issue, disable your filtering, you're back in business. Again, this is up. I can hit shift. Now I got physics. I got everything in there. So it's pretty neat. And then again, the big button turns it on and off. And then we have our hotkey also. All right. And again, this is really cool. Then again, you just have the hotkey, pick your category, and bam, they're filtered. Thank you so much, guys.